It's Michinata Survival. Now we're gonna talk about the medicinal uses for Yarrow. Don't go away. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of these bad boys so we can have a little chat about it. Okay, so let's have a little chat about medicinal properties of Yarrow. So here's my Yarrow right here. And here's my Peterson's Field Guides Medicinal Plants and Herbs, which you can find on our website, nativesurvival.com. Now, if you go to page 74, you find Yarrow. What I like to do is underline the things that I think are important. Things that I'm going to run into more often. You know, I'll, I don't want to know if something is going to cure something rare that I'm not going to run into. I, you know, I want to deal with like common ailments I have written down. I'll show you. You know, I want to deal with you know headaches, diarrhea, the opposite, which is constipation, and then you have congestion wound washes and stinger removal so if you think about these things this is what you, what you run into the most when you're in the woods you know you get a headache you, you get you know congested you know stinger removal you cut yourself wound wash or you get diarrhea from eating something that you know maybe you shouldn't have you know or the opposite constipation where you know your hunting and trapping is going really well and you know you're just all bound up right Okay, so basically there's, there's a few key preps, which is, you know, uh, raw infusion, uh, decoction would be here too, poultice, and smoking. So those are kind of like common preps that you would do for these. Alright, so let's go back to Yarrow. Oops, wrong way. Here it is. So basically, like I was saying, what I have to do is look at the medicinal book and find the things that I think are important okay like it stops the bleeding of wounds okay it's good for colds and uh, the fresh herb is a is a uh, styptic poultice it's also expectorant and analgesic so it's uh, hemostatic which is basically the same thing as uh, styptic and it's anti-inflammatory okay now I like to just make these little uh, these little pages for each plant that I run across same same info so it's it's septic hemostatic basically that means that it contracts blood vessels so it stops bleeding alright that's a really good one to know expectorant expectorant basically means that uh, it breaks up the phlegm so you know, if you have a chest cold or if you're congested, then this is this is what's going to break up the phlegm, so you can cough it up and get rid of it. It's also a pain reliever, which is analgesic, and it's uh, anti-inflammatory. Uh, All right. So now, some of the things that it's good for those common ailments, you know, bleeding wound. Now, here's the cool thing about yarrow: whether it's uh, internal bleeding or external bleeding this is good for so you know you'd make an infusion or a decoction which we'll get into in, in other videos if it's internal you know external it's used as a poultice and uh, congestion obviously it's good for if it's a expectorant and headache pain relief and sore throat because it's anti-inflammatory right usually a sore throat is from something being inflamed like your glands or, or something like that and some common preps would be infusion, decoction, which is like a stronger version of infusion, and a poultice, and smoke. So, you know, when you when you smoke uh, yarrow, basically you're you're going to be using the expectorant aspects of it, help break up the phlegm that way as well, instead of just drinking infusions or decoctions. So, you know, when you when you think of uh, medicinal plants in this way, in this fashion, it allows you to you know combat the things that you that you run across commonly in the woods first and, and you know and that's just really important you know I don't want to know if something can cure my kidney stones you know it's just it's not it's not as common as a headache you know you're gonna run into a headache far more often than you are 
you know, something like that. So, again, I, I like to look at things that I'm going to commonly run into, and then I like to look at common plants that I'm going to run into. So I don't want to know some strange plant that only grows one at a time in the woods I'm never going to find. You know, I, I want to find a plant that grows a ton of. Once I do find it, there's a ton of them that grow, and I find it all the time. And it takes care of issues that I run into all the time. All right, so that's page 74 of our Medicinal Plants and Herbs, Peterson. And again, if you guys are looking for this, I've had a lot of questions about the books I use. You can find them on our site. Again, that's page 74. That's for Yarrow, if you want to check it out. And again, I just, I just underline the things that I like. All right, what's well, been mentioned in survival? I appreciate your views, your comments, and your support. Thanks for joining me today on the medicinal properties of Yarrow. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.